So what we do instead is we have to, uh, just before sortable, uh, append on this find here. And what we want to find is a particular uh, class. And that class is uh, UI tabs nav. So UI tabs nav is uh, these uh, little buttons here, the actual tabs themselves. So now when we refresh, you can see that we can actually move the particular tab itself uh, rather the entire set of tabs. So I could move that there, move that there, put that at the start if I wanted to. Uh, so now that we've actually found the particular tab that we want to make sortable, uh, or the particular element that we want to make sortable by this class, uh, we can do so. So uh, if you're just using sortable on its own, it's just gonna pick out the actual tabs itself uh, rather than the individual tabs. So that's how we go ahead and make it sortable. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about, uh, let's just make sure that's working. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the uh, cookie option. Now we can supply a cookie option just after here. Uh, and this will take uh, one option and that's, that's the expiry time of the cookie. Now before I go ahead and actually demonstrate this, let me just tell you what it's for. Let's just say a user was to click, uh, we'll get rid of this for now. Just. Uh, so nothing, no errors occur. Uh, let's just say the user has clicked on contact. Now when the page is refreshed, this will go back to the default option, which is about me. So if I click on loop and then press F5 to refresh the page, we go straight back to the about me tab. Now the cookie option is gonna allow the uh, a cookie to be stored um, and it will hold which tab is currently open. So when the user refreshes their page, uh, in this case, the contact uh, would stay open. I've clicked on contact, I've refreshed the page, but I want the contact details or the contact uh, area and the tab to still be selected. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we need to supply the cookie option and inside here we set an expiry time. So we just say expires, and this is in days. So we can select say one day, two day, three days, the amount of days that we want to keep the cookie uh, active for. So if we were to say for two days, we wanted to keep uh, these these um, tabs, uh, you know, we want to keep memory on these tabs for. Now you've noticed I've implemented this correctly. However, when now, now the problem is that when I click on tabs, nothing's actually working. And the reason for this is we need to include the cookie uh, plugin to be able to use this. So this is uh, still download, if, as long as you've gone ahead and downloaded the entire jQuery UI and you've selected the whole package, uh, this will be available. So let's go ahead and browse over to development bundle folder and external. Uh, let's just show all files. Now jQuery.cookie.js is the file that we need to include onto our page uh, to allow us to use this cookie functionality. Uh, so let's go ahead and just um, include that now. So we'll come down here and we create a new uh, script include. So the type is obviously uh, text slash JavaScript. And the source this time is um, development bundle forward slash external forward slash jQuery.cookie.js. So feel free to obviously uh, change around these directory names. Uh, it doesn't really look nice when you're including it in development bundle. Uh, I've just done it from the standard um, package to make it easier for you to see in your directory structure. However, now that we've included the cookie plugin, uh, let's go ahead and refresh. We can select tabs as normal. When I select, say, the contact tab and then refresh the page, oh, let's just Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so now I select the contact tab. When I refresh the page, you'll see that the contact tab is left open because what we've used, what we've done by using this, uh, let's just get rid of that. What we, we've done by using this cookie and expires too, we've now created a cookie that expires in two days and holds the tab that's currently open. So however much we refresh, the cookie is now telling us that this is the tab we want to keep open uh, with the relevant details. So we can then select say portfolio. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F5 to refresh the page and the portfolio has stayed open. So no matter how, many, how much we refresh, this cookie that we've created has stored our tab uh, preference or the one that we've kept open last. So this is extremely useful if you want users, uh, well, let's go into a scenario. If your user comes into your website and clicks on your portfolio and leaves at your portfolio, 
when they come back into the, uh, your website they'll still be able to see your portfolio so it will leave your op uh, your user with the last option that they clicked so this isn't extremely useful uh, just extremely useful for functionality it's also extremely useful for people that want to come directly back from your website in one session uh, for example they might close their browser and then go oh I want to go back to the same page they might go back to the same page and then they'll have this tab open and ready for them to continue viewing as well as things like browser crashes and if they accidentally close a page for example so the last option we've just taken a look at is the cookie option however it's uh, completely and definitely not least because uh, I think it's a really good option uh, and extremely easy to implement as well so that's tabs in uh, jQuery uh, UI uh, remember you're going to go ahead and create this as an outline and you just really need tabs to uh, be able to actually use tabs uh, again we've gone ahead and uh, changed some of the styling in style.css uh, so this suits uh, the size of the page and makes it look a bit nicer but go ahead and play around with it play around with the styles uh, and play around with some of the options that are available to you